Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from interest.co.nz and welcome to 90 at 9, brought to you in association with ASB. This is your morning briefing where you get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, starting now with news from Timaru, where South Canterbury Finance is threatened with a multiple credit rating downgrade by Standard & Poor's, which came out last night and said it was possible that within a few months, South Canterbury Finance could be downgraded from its current double B plus to a single B credit rating. Standard & Poor's is concerned about the related party dealings at South Canterbury and about its liquidity position. Bondholders who've lent South Canterbury 100 million US dollars are on the verge of pulling that money out. And South Canterbury has yet to complete an audited version of its accounts. It's withdrawn its prospectus and Standard & Poor's is concerned about South Canterbury's ongoing ability to continue. What does it mean if South Canterbury was downgraded to a single B? It wouldn't qualify for the government guarantee when it's extended from October next year. However, those people who have debentures with South Canterbury that mature on or before October next year are covered under the guarantee. That's why it's a problem for the government. It turns out Alan Hubbard, the man behind South Canterbury, is also on dialysis three days a week for kidney failure. Meanwhile, the whole rural sector is about to have to put its hand in its pocket and its banker's pocket to back South Canterbury Finance, Pine Gould Corporation, which owns Marrick, and PGG Wrightson. Once you include Fonterra, which is raising up to $900 million, at least $1.3 billion is required from the rural sector and its financiers in the next six to 12 months. This will be an issue for New Zealand's banks. Meanwhile, later today we'll find out what the current account deficit did in the June quarter. Most economists are picking an improvement from about 8.5% of GDP to 7.2% of GDP as our imports fall and in theory our exports rise. I'm Bernard Hickey, that was 90 at 9, brought to you in association with ASB.